two. <laughs> Both of them I can deal with perfectly fine. Let's see what he's doing. He has Japanese things in his name, but he has no uh, card sleeves. So that makes me feel like he actually doesn't have a response to this. I think the duelists that scare me the most are the ones that have absolutely nothing. Okay. Still thinking. Are you gonna use Maxi now? Okay, now here's the deck. I go into everyone's favorite Salaman Great Bunny, or as I've been calling him, the Salaman Great. Uh, get your <laughs> use uh, the promo uh, yeah, code. Yeah, I need to. I need to get that little bunny. Yeah, good. Get, get the little bunny. Get your smoked meats right using the Salaman Great. <laughs> it's a fantastic <laughs> engine. He did have. Uh, oh, that's cool. I can use this, right? Yeah, on Maxi, you can. Do you think he just scoops right here? Do you think that this sick combo is enough to just make him give up the game? Uh, it might kind of be. Let's see what kind of player he is. Alright, he's gonna stick it through. Now we sacrifice the great Salaman great. Goodbye, our smoke meats are done. And we get Secure Gardener. He's on the field now, that's right. Big boy, big damage. Now we have this guy, the Invoked Mechaba. Get rid of these two. And boom. And then we summon him. Now he can negate any of the spell cards that he has. Because actually, no, I can do more. And because I got, I had to vanish my Alistair. This gets to return back to the deck, and I get my Alistair back. <laughs> Very fair deck, Zen. Very good and fair deck. <laughs> fair balanced in all ways. I'm gonna put down just, Super Poly. That's just you go. Every deck is fair and balanced. It's it's true. TMCR. It's TMCR. Now, he's starting with four cards because he did have to, unfortunately, waste that maxi. Go against a viewer? Is that what someone says on here? Oh. <laughs> if you're going to do that, you'll need to uh, cover your hand with a graphic of some kind. Hell no. Let them know. <laughs> I'm going to beat you regardless. What are you going to do to <laughs> stop me? What's your hand full of normal monsters going to fucking do to stop me? I like this guy's style. Ash Blossom in attack mode. Let's go. <laughs> What do you do? Sage with the eyes of blue. Oh, he's a blue eyes deck. Can I just stop this though? Is that just Ash Blossom? What did he just play? Yeah, he's Sage with the eyes of blue. So I'm going to see if I can negate oh. this and get rid of my Alistair. This is very risky, but I have a Shadal Fusion in my hand, so it's not that bad. This is basically going to stop what he wants to do, which is summon blue eyes. Fuck your blue eyes. And now he just has Ash Blossom on the field. Yeah, Zen. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's uh, he's, he's pissed. Yeah, there it is. It's the I knew it. As soon as he had an attack mode Ash Blossom, I was like, nah, he's, that's a scoop. Oh. It's a little crazy that neither one of us has taken any life point damage, and this is only turn three, yeah. I think. It, it's just been from paying for effects. Yeah. Now, let me see, I think since this is a quick play spell card, I can actually just play Alistair and not Fusion Summon. And that way, if he does try and activate it, I can just get rid of it from my hand. Oh, good call. Yeah, if I don't draw a spell card right here, that is. I mean, there's really no reason not to attack Maximus. She's basically here to die. I'm fine. I should have really put her in defense, but I didn't think that I didn't think that that move through. It's okay though. She did her. He's not coming back. He's not coming back. I don't think so. It's very hard. If he comes back from this, it would actually be the greatest comeback in all Yu-Gi-Oh history. I'm 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 not afraid to make that uh that statement. <laughs> to make that claim. Yeah. No. I'm 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 gonna make it. Now here's the thing, if he actually uses the effect of Time Thief Redoer, I can actually just discard this if it's a monster card and get rid of it. It's a super poly. Hmm, let's see if he's gonna use it though.
He is. Perfect. Get off the field. Get, get rid of her. Perish. Leave. Banished from the field. Leave my presence. Do not go past go. Do not collect $200. He's gonna use his effect again though and get himself get rid of himself. Does he have enough to do that? One monster. Okay, yeah, he can do that. It's fine. He doesn't get to steal another one of my cards though, which is the the point. And actually, I think I get his effect if he leaves the field. Let me see what is his effect. And I can just target one spell or trap card and destroy it. Let's see if it works though. Yeah. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, so good. I bet he didn't see this shit coming when he got rid of my monster. <laughs> yu gi -Oh the best. Oh, greatest <laughs> series of all time. Are you kidding me? Scoop, my dude. <laughs> There's no way for you to win this. Where we just spectate other people's games. I, would, I was other... actually about to say, I think it would be awesome to do a stream where we just watch Dual TV. That might actually be the, the play. We're going to do one more, and I think we'll save that idea for another stream. <laughs> I think I might actually put that on the tag duelist as well. <laughs> oh, this guy's got the, the pot of green here. That would actually be a cool thing to put on the tag duelist. Just the duel, like, highlights. Yeah, looking at the duel highlights. We're tired of the dueling. We just want to see the quick get. I want to see other people duel. <laughs> exactly. We got anime pace, too. This plays exactly like the anime, because they're like, I played this card, and then this card gets played. Max C. Hmm... That's literally what I have on my account, and my following is Zen. <laughs> maybe it was funny. Was that you? What? So, no, I was, no, I was making a joke. That maybe that was him, oh. but... Let me see, is this... Okay, so this guy's using Dryton, Michael the Arch Light... The Arch Light Sworn. Yeah, so I guess he's using... It looked like, to me, Dryton's right here. Heralds. And this guy's using Snowdrop, maybe? Harold. Hmm. We're just trying to. You know what's actually crazy? We haven't run into any effect veilers in any of the things we've done. He's gonna monster no, reborn back that little. Anything. Power play. Monster reborning a zero attack, zero defense monster. <laughs> what is this? Ricochet. It's a good name for a card. So this is obviously a sync, not a synchro, XYZ maybe? Yeah, it is. What are you gonna do here, my dude? Get rid of it? Okay, that makes sense. I mean, he's actually in a good place considering that he was negated at the start. A year gold for playing heroes, respectable. It's an honest living, to be to be fair. Playing, hero <laughs> playing heroes is honest living. Because you know that it has to cost so much for some a deck that does not do super well. <laughs> hey, I'm platinum with them, goddammit. <laughs> no, it's fair. I think Mayo said uh, the reason I was able to climb platinum so quick is because this is the, the best time. Because it's before it's only people who are super serious about Yu-Gi-Oh! So I actually have a shot at getting the platinum really easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. It does help a lot, actually. I think it actually kind of balances out. I just hope it stays that way. <laughs> Yeah, I think everyone who's not like a hyper serious player will quit. Because I think a lot of people are just like building shit they like and having fun. Yeah. I hope it kind of stays that way. And then and based off of some of the data mines I see, I think maybe we'll, we'll see how it kind of goes in the future. But what is this? The IP Mascarina. I actually think I have this card. I had no idea how to use it, though. Cyber Angels. I don't know what he's trying to do, but all, all he's doing is making this card stronger, it looks like. Wow! Power play! <laughs> he stole the monster! Is this just, like, designed so whoever is the person that you're not looking at is the one that just bodies the other person? No, because I've totally have done it before where, um... I thought it was actually the person that you're looking at was always the one that wins until I actually saw the other duelist with lost or won or something. So I don't think it always goes that way. It just sometimes goes that way. Is he gonna is he gonna get his monster back at the end of the turn or does he get to keep it? That's my question. Because if he doesn't get to keep it then 
Why didn't he just use Karma Cut on it? I would have cut my losses and just got rid of it. If you want my monster, then no one can have my monster. That's the kind of mentality I run with. Is that... I, I have the stream really lowered, and I thought that was Marshmallow for a second. I was like, let's go! <laughs> Marshmallow. It's a respectable deck. A deck that runs Marshmallow. Yeah, if you run Marshmallow in 2021, you're a, you're a gentleman. Yes, exactly. Yeah, now he's going to Karma Cut his own monster. It must hurt. He's removing his own. But it's better not on the field than there. I think he's in a pretty good place. Unless this guy has a crazy card in hand or a crazy top deck, I think he wins. He does have a Pot of Greed, so that makes me feel like this man's played way too much Master Duel at the beginning. This guy has a uh, Rescue Rabbit, but... Nothing wrong with the Rabbit. Here's a lot of work with everyone having hand traps that stop you from doing anything and link cards that negate everything. Yeah. And speaking of hand traps, here's Ash Bomb. <laughs> Not that I don't I don't think that's really gonna help him in this case. I feel like this guy's lost and he's just trying to hopefully top deck a winning answer. But it's late, man. I didn't I've never seen anyone using this deck, by the way, the snowdrops. That's also the cool thing about using Live Spectate, is that uh, you get to actually see a lot of decks that are kind of being run and having a huge success. Cause yeah, this guy won. Holy crap. Yeah, holy shit, he turned it around! Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I love to hear a good comeback story. Especially with Snowdrops. <laughs> uh, nothing maybe worse than losing to a lot of cards that are just like little girl cards. But those are the funnest ways to win, to be honest. <laughs> 